Good morning, John Glenn Eagles. I'm sorry I couldn't be with you today. I'm at the uh, UCI Writing Project reunion, but I didn't want to leave you without any expertise on Google Drive and how I use it in my classroom. Instead of um, binder checks, I do electronic binder checks. So let me show you how I get students set up with that. I'm just going to go ahead and log into my Gmail account. And if you go up to the squares here, you can have access to your mail. In this case, we're going to your drive. And this is the way I like to have everything set up. Everything's in folders. Everything is labeled properly. When you first just save things to Google Drive, everything is just kind of dumped in one place. And so what I do with my students is I have them design folders first before they start moving over all of their work. So just in as, as an example, when I had my AP students sign up, they would start with new, they're going to add a folder, they're going to title that folder AP Lang, and then what period they're in. Since I have two sections, it helps me stay organized and remember which class I'm grading. So they would create that, it shows up right here, and then I have my students create folders within that folder. So they click on here and go to new and they add a folder within that folder for all the different essays that we practice so that they can be saved in one place because we do them multiple times a year. So here's where we do the rhetorical analysis composition. Then they're going to add one for their uh, open argument. Oops. Argument. And they're going to create one for their synthesis essay. Um, then I also have them, oops, go back, have them go in here and add one for the different units of study. So at the beginning of the year, we do an education unit. And that way they can put all of their assignments in here, the um, digital one-pagers uh, that I talked about doing on uh, Pit Collage. So, um, and they can, for our other units right now, we're getting ready to do the gender unit. So that's what I'm gonna have them add this week to their Google Drive. Then within these folders, you can also add folders. So if I wanted to click here and add a specific rhetorical analysis prompt, rhetorical analysis number one, and then they would know that's where their first essay for rhetorical analysis goes. If I go back to my drive, you see I have it, you know, my teaching ideas, some other, my master's program, some other things that I have here, student essays, so that I can keep it all in order. Um, the most important thing is to just have them create files, um, and then it's really easy to move things over. If they have them saved on a flash drive, they can drag and drop them. If they have them saved on the desktop, they can drag and drop them. Um, so just for example, I'm gonna take this piece, this document, and move it over here. It shows you what it's doing on the screen right here. It says it's complete. It says what it is. It even shows you a preview of what that looks like. And it'll just stay there unless I want to move it to someplace else. And there's a couple of ways that I can move it if I want to. I can click on it and just drag it to one of these file folders. Or I can click on it and go up to these three little things and move that to whatever folder I want. So all of these I can move that classroom strategy to. Now if I put something in the wrong folder and I want to move it, I can also go within that folder. Let's say I want to move the gender unit over to another folder. I can also click up here and move that to any. I If I don't go here, I can only move it within this folder. But if I go up to this arrow, I can move it to whatever folders I want. So I know that was very fast um, and not a lot of time to digest everything, but it's pretty user friendly. Um, one thing I wanted to show you that's really neat um, is in my drive under student essays, why I like using Google Drive so much for essay grading and revising and editing is because when students send me their Google Drive 
um, their Google Doc, I can actually comment um, within the paper. I can highlight and say this is what I meant. I can tell, sell, tell them exactly what I did, that I took out the comma splice. I can even talk to them about what a comma splice is. Um, students can actually do in-text research, which is really um, a new feature that's really great too. And they can also do Google Voice. So if they're having a hard time writing and they would rather speak their essay into the computer, that is another really cool feature. And if you want to see that, um, come see me personally. If there's any part of this presentation that was too fast or that you didn't fully comprehend, um, please go back and rewatch the video. It will be posted on Schoology. Or you can also email me and I can do one-on-one -on -one time with you during my conference period. I hope this was helpful and that you understand how I organize my students in Google Drive. Um, and I hope you try it on too. Have a great day, everyone.